Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this lecture. My name is Rahul, and uh, we are learning the important section of building career as SDED. So in this uh, video, we're going to talk about how you can build career in SDED, what are the important skills which are required into SD SDED, what are the job opportunities available so that you can get into the IT industry as SDED, and how are the important uh, help we're going to do so that you can become a successful SDET to be part of the IT industry. All right. So once again, let's start ahead. Uh, so SDET is basically stands for the uh, IT professionals who are the software development engineers in the test. So as the uh, automation is taking over in the industry, and that's the reason uh, industry is demanding the uh, testers who are very good in the software development uh, engineering side as well. So SDET professionals, uh, uh, have the knowledge uh, and they entirely focus on the testability, robustness, and the performance. And they are the contributor and reviewer who also uh, help in creation of the design and production software. If you talk about, uh, uh, you know, what what are the uh, various uh, differences basically in the SDT and an automation engineer? So SDT, uh, as, as basically it, it tests and the critic uh, the software components and interfaces in more technical depth, uh, write various test programs to assure the quality and develop various test tools uh, to increase the effectiveness. Whereas an automation tester normally uses those tools for doing uh, uh, functional testing, which uh, do not require any technical knowledge, all right? So how you can become uh, an SDET engineer? So you have to have the involvement and the knowledge in the of the applications as well as the software development uh, cycle as well. So SDT plays an important role in both software development as well as the testing life cycle. And that's the reason planning from the, you know, planning phase, design phase, development, optimization, and then uh, testing the code uh, using automation. That's what SDET does. In the same video, in the in, in the for the section, I'm going to talk about what are the important skills what you will be requiring to become a successful SDET. Uh, if we talk about the, uh, I would say, important question: What are the roles and responsibilities of SDET? So basically, SDET is a mix of developer as well as tester. Uh, and who has exposure to project management, uh, also interacts and understands the end user uh, software requirements, uh, understand the domain knowledge, and on top of it, try to code and build the test automation tools. So responsibility wise, uh, you know, participating in various design and architectural discussion, understanding uh, of deploying and managing the own environment uh, with test automation frameworks, developing automation codes, or at the same time, ensuring uh, we having the maximum unit test code coverage and uh, ultimately writing the automation code for himself and uh, should have excellent debugging skills. So these are the major uh, roles and responsibility of uh, SDET. Another question comes like, why SDET? So, you know, in prior days, it used to happen, the software engineer used to write codes and the tester was compelled to test it for the quality, right? But today companies are searching for experts who have uh, the understanding uh, and able to contribute in software development as well. And that's the reason shift is purely from manual testing to the more technical reality of testing a product. And that is the reason SDD is uh, that particular position who has expertise on writing the codes. And that's the reason SDT is one of the fastest growing uh, role in the field of quality assurance and very popular in IT industry because the same person who understand the assurance of the quality able to contribute in code as well. So what are the future prospects uh, of SDT? Definitely it's a huge opportunity for the SDT uh, in, in the industry. And that is the reason uh, even for today, the software developers who used to write down uh, codes, uh, they're not able to define the quality, but SDTs are the skilled professional who are able to adopt in the arena of both QA engineer as well as software developer. So shall I get a certificate after completion of uh, certified SDT program? Definitely will be awarded by you, uh, but let's before that work down and understand the uh, the job opportunities for an SDET. So we have done a great research from the India and US market together. And uh, if you see like SDET, 
uh, average salary, the annual salary in the US uh, based on the paper, uh, uh, I would say uh, scale and uh, the different portal, it's like $74,000 uh, uh, plus in, in, the, in the US itself and great opportunity for the Indian environment as well. So if you talk about what uh, this program includes you and how we uh, help you uh, being into, uh, be into a successful SDT. So along with the technical knowledge, which we'll be discussing the important skills on top of it, uh, we help you uh, prepare you for the SDT role specifically with the help of mock interviews, the current approaches of what answers should be given, uh, what could be the self-assessment projects will be given to you and how you're able to progress on that. On top of it, we help you with the effective resume building specified for the SDET role. In this case, what are the do's and don'ts and the resume, the guidance regarding the projects we have, we have been doing during the training period. And on top of it, like how you can build a resume if you're looking forward to enter into IT, you don't have experience in IT industry, but want to enter this and how the resume should be framed. And on top of it, we'll be helping with the job placement assistance uh, in we help you uh, in marketing your resume, how you can market your resume and apply for the jobs, what are the right portals and ways to apply for the jobs, and how what are those important keywords through which the softwares which scans the uh, scan resumes nowadays because manual scanning of resumes is almost uh, getting out from the industry and all a uh, scanning of the uh, resumes uh, is done by the uh, the tools itself. Uh, if you see, that is also again the automation in the industry. So we help you like what are the important keywords to include in the resume. And these are the detailed six weeks career transformation program of SDD, in which we uh, initially talk about the introduction of the SDLT, various you know, rules and responsibilities, as Java being one important language. And so we have included the introduction of the Java, various concepts like the OOPS concept, keywords, strings, arrays, files handling, exceptions, the advanced uh, Java concepts of the JDBC multi-threading, uh, and then we come to the SQL database and MySQL and MongoDB hands-on, where you work on the real projects and able to get exposure. Along with it, uh, SDT required to have basic understanding of the web development as well, because a lot of functionalities, what the SDD engineers test, they need to have understanding of HTML, CSS, and XML, including some introduction of JavaScript. And then uh, uh, we move to the uh, automation testing tools, including the Postman and SOAP UI, functional testing tools, including the, in, uh, the Selenium, WebDriver, JUnit, the Test NG, and Maven build tool. And at the same time, we also do the uh, framework, including the TDD and B. Uh, DDD, which has data-driven testing and test-driven testing, and uh, the Cucumber. And as we have understood clearly, like how Agile methodology is taking over industry, so understanding and working with the Agile, at the same time, placement assistance and uh, doubt clearing session. All right, so uh, this is uh, regarding the SDT program. Uh, you can reach us on 800-543-5571, or you can drop an email at training at infotechdesolutions.com. Or if you are uh, a nearby location at Virginia, you can visit our office and then we can help you uh, answer your queries and we can move ahead for the path of you becoming a successful SDET engineer, able to enter into IT industry. All right, if you have any further questions, please post your questions on the comment box so that I can reply and uh, drop an email and subscribe to the channel for getting more such interesting and important knowledge-based videos. See you in the next video. Thank you, take care, bye-bye.